hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be illustrating how to make this trendy booboo with beautiful neck pattern so let's get started hello so firstly we determine the amount of fabric to fold into two by dividing the um fullest part of our body which is the if by four so the fullest part of my body which is the if is 48 so 48 divided by 4 is um 12 and um because it's a free um pattern so i'm going to be adding like um four inches it depends on how free you want it to be so i'm going to be adding four inches to it so that's about 16 inches inches is on your So we can now cut it. Then if you notice the fabric is very rough and it's because of the type of material it is. So you can iron it out so in order to get an accurate measurement. So I'll quickly do that now before I cut it. So like I said, we are doing this in order to get an accurate measurement. It's because it's the type of fabric that it is. Some fabrics are like that, so in order to get the accurate measurement, we give it a gentle first. Yeah, I think we are okay with that. Let me check the measurements again and see if you are okay with it. Yeah. So you can now cut. So we we'll start by taking the shoulder measurement. So firstly you draw a line just to serve as a starting point. So you draw a line just to serve as the starting point. So 
then you insert your neck measurement on this line the neck measurement i'll be using is 16 and 16 divided by 4 is 8 then from the um point where we mark it down we get the arm hole arm hole divided by two the arm hole i'll be using is 18 18 divided by two is nine so that will be the front arm hole but because i'll be cutting the sleeve alongside the neck so anything from here to here it is up it's up to you it depends on how long you want the sleeve to be but because i've already cut this i'll make use of the entire length of the fabric as the sleeve so we come down by one inch here or one and a half or two inches it, up to you it depends on um, what you want then we attach this to the um, point where we mark our shoulder our shoulder uh, measurements where it ends So we draw our neckline we use the three inch inches standard so we join this point where we came back down by one inch to the neckline So we take the shoulder to bust point. The shoulder to bust point is a four nine ten point five. Then shoulder to because it says uh, free gown, you don't really need the um, waist measurement. So we just take the shoulder to hip measurement straight. So my shoulder to hip measurement is 24. Then I'll be making use of the length all length of the fabric. So we can now draw a line from where we mark the show if measurement Then we come back to the shoulder points so i would like to use the shoulder um i mean the neck point then i would like to use the width of um four then the depth five or six it depends on how you want it to be then you can now join the point so i'll draw another one inch i'll take another one inch or 0 0.5 inch it depends on how wide you want the um the neck to be depending on this um the style the type of style you want to make but i'll just make 0 0.5 inch 
then you draw another line and join it up to the point where we mark the um, neckline. So this is the front part. We use this one to cut the back part. So let's go over to the hip part. The hip is 48 and 48 divided by 4 is 12. And uh, since I'm using the old fabric, so the remaining one will just be as a um, sewing allowance and uh, whatever allowance you want to add. So, so far I'm using the old length of the fabric. So if I'm ruling the length of the clothes, so it will just come straight down. So far I'm using the, since I'm using the old length of the fabric. So in order to cut the um, sleeve part, you just you know, I have to draw a line um, where we mark the, the bust point, just a straight line, an horizontal line. So in order to call the sleeve, you just come in by one or two inches. So I came in by two inches and then you just draw a curve. curve. You can use your ruler or you can use your, just draw a curve. Then you join from this part to the hip part, then to the length of the fabric. Then you can now cut the front part. Like I said, we are going to use the front part to cut the back part. So it's just the neckline that's different. So remember we had to uh, draft about two lines on the leg line. So we are going to cut the outer part first. Sorry, the inner part. Then we now cut the outer part. So we just draw like one inch or 0 0.5 inch. Then we cut a little bit. Then we can now call this. So that's the front part. So this is how the neckline will be. So we now cut the back part. So we can now cut it. Other things remain unchanged.
then the lunch will be on Tuesday as well. So we now have the front part and the back part. So in order to get the um, desired neckline, we have to take the measurement of the neckline round. So we can use the measurement to cut the strip of the velvet we are going to be using. So eight, nine and eight that's 17 17 and uh, another 17 and 11 that's uh, 28 so we are going to cut the velvet strip is 28 I want the velvet material to be 7 inches wide and the length is 30 inches then we can now cut it can just mark a straight line because velvet material is kind of um, unstable material while cutting so just mark the line and go along with the line so when you mark um the length you your desired length on the velvet it gives you a clue on where to cut just cut along the line it makes it neat and straight can you see that it's straight has how i call velvet so the idea is to sew this then turn it in in out so the idea is to sew this then turn it out then attach it to the sleeve i mean to the neck part that's the idea attach it to the neck part then we can now cut the lower part of the neckline so we are going to be using the front part to cut the lower part so i would want the velvet to be somewhere around there just take the measurement here so i think i i'll be okay with 10 inches so let's just use the lower part of where we cut so to waste our material So 10 inches wide i'll make it 12 because we need to uh, we need an a little allowance to sew it in so 12 then the length just stop by 12 and another 12 here yeah so we can now draw it and cut it like the we cut the other one so we can have a straight cut
so i've joined the front and back part together so this is it and this is the neckline then the two strips of um velvet i've joined that as well so i'm going to um connect this i mean attach this velvet round the neckline then this one as well so now i'm trying to sew the velvet around the neckline So you remember this part um on the lower part of the v neck remember we there's this about one inch allowance so the vervets will just stop here so just at the uh, v neck you know the one inch that i talked about i press a little notch so you see the reason why later so i've sewn the velvet the strip of the velvet around the neckline so on the lower part you know remember i said we notched it a little bit so it's just to allow um the folding in of the lower part of the velvet so can you see so if we hadn't notched it it won't be that easy just a little notch not much let me see so this is the notch part take it in and the other side in then we can also it down from here you can just apply um just use the pin to hold it then before you sew it so this is how it will look can you see it sits well on the neckline So we folded the two parts in now. So the notch makes it easier for the folding to be done. And this is it. Then we can also on the other part. So before you sew the second part, so you can just um, apply it with a pin. So it will be stable and you know exactly where you are sewing. So guys this is how it comes out so kindly give me a thumbs up if you like this video then subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so see you soon bye